Hello. Today I want to share with you uh, on how we use the Tableau to visualize the, the cross selling. Um, let's look at the company called um, Yant Automotive. Uh, they have three sales teams. Um, so the first one is uh, a passenger car. So uh, they sell three product lines. Right? So they sell the passenger car, they sell truck, and they sell bike. Of course, the uh, the main product to sell in the market is passenger car. Uh, and we have the the truck and and bus team. Uh, they sell passenger car, truck, and bike. Uh, the main product is a truck. And we have two wheels. We see mainly in charge of bike. Uh, and um, they sell uh, truck and, and passenger as well. So how we, so in one slide, how we can show the uh, sales from this year versus with last year. Uh, to reflect uh, the team performance and product performance. So I think uh, Tableau is the best solution to, uh, to do the job. So I have the Tableau in my computer. It's, it, uh, the version is 10.2. Um, I will open the data. Right. So I have the Excel file. I'll open it up. So actually we have three seats, uh, two wheeled by, by three teams, two wheels, passenger and, and truck and bus. The best way to do it, I use the union. I bring it in. Okay, light. So I have the data here, uh, three seats all together. And um, I want to change the name a little bit. So this one, I will change the title of the column is uh, team. Uh, here uh, should be the product. So change the product. Mm -hmm. So look, this is this is not the the organization of data that Tableau prefer. So what we need to do is to pivot it. So pivot. So now here's the way that Tableau prefer. Um, so I will change the title of the name again. So this one I use, I call it uh, Day Sales. This one, Value Sales. Okay, on the date, I convert that to the format of date. Because I want to see the, the performance of 2019 versus with 2018. So we will add an, another column. It's called the sales 2018. Um, I use the formula. If year of they sell if equal with 2018 then right so you see in uh, in the data that appear another column it called sale 2018 so i do the same for 2019 
so I change it 2019 sales 2019 okay so here we go so we came to the seat create one we first one we select the date by month so I remove the quarter year I remove on the quarter year and I bring in sale 2018 2019 I selected by bar So it's appearing two charts in uh, in you know in co in not connected. So I will bring it all together by put the parallel column. So I have a sale in two thousand eighteen versus with two thousand nineteen. Right. Mm. Now I want to see um, every month it what product was sales was sold so I filter by I print the product in a different color so it helps here I put the label in product name I change the color to um, to what I uh, I like so I say edit color filter it bike I will choose the green passenger I choose the dark blue truck in the red color so now we have so I want to put the um, the total as well so I will go to analysis run total then so I want to put the for each column I want to see the total number so I will use this one. It is what I prefer. I, I think that the best demonstration. So some value the sale. So now I format a little bit. Format number custom. I like do that again format number oh not currency uh, number custom here we go right so now you can see uh, January February and March of 2018 uh, by product versus with sales of 2019 by product and the grand total right. so now we want to look into the team performance right. so this is the product we look into team performance so i will create another sheet so the first one i call uh, product sales right. so i duplicate that Policy team sales. So I touch, I touch off the product, right? I put that by team again. I edit the color what I like. Then two wheel, uh, two wheel in the green passenger in the dark blue and truck and birds in the red. So here. So now look at a little bit different between two slides. The first one is the monthly sale by the product. The second one is the monthly sales by the team. Right, so I 
Purim. Right, so you save it. When you move the mouse in, you can see the uh, value which you're looking here. So now this is this is the total um, three teams, total sales of three teams. So now if I want to 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 see the each team performance, so what I what I what can I do? So I will use what we call um, the uh, parameter. I create a parameter they call that a product selection data type I could I use string and the values I string okay so this is okay um I will create the uh, here the create uh, a measure right and so the control right and here in the measure do we have to create? Okay, uh, okay, here we go. Product selection. The code is product selection from the parameter. Is it from the parameter? Equal product. Right. Apply. Nope. So what wrong? Okay. Product selection. Right. Okay. So that's more the parameter. They just uh, try to classify. This is the parameter. Right. Okay. So I I put the code e when we select the product in the parameter. Um, that only that product will appear in the chart. Okay. Right. So now I can s let me filter that. Oop. Okay. I need to bring that in. Here we go. True. Right. So now when I shoot, I, I filter bike. The, the bike so you will see the analysis is just only for the for the bike for the product with the bike and when I filter the passenger we see the analysis is just only for passenger right. and truck all right uh, and then you may ask me you know how can we put on together again so I think in here uh, you can put that you could you can select the fault and true so it's on the product line will appear so regardless you choose or not what okay so I change the seats again is let's say uh, Team sales and okay I hope this will help you uh, to demonstrate monthly uh, in the monthly meeting the performance of each team or by product uh, if you still have any questions feel free to make a comment in my channel or uh, drop me an email uh, happy to answer and uh, looking forward to see you in the next session of TAPO. Thank you and have a great day.